before my back is completely destroyed, I have a lot of stuff to show you. So, let's get all this stuff on the bed before I start the intro. Mm, oh my god. Mm. Oh, that one. Oh my god, that's... Oh god, my back. Oh, oh my back. Oh. This will cure my back pain. And I don't even know no more. Rolling down the strip in my two door Chevrolet. And the wheels keep turning. And I don't even know no more. Rolling up the block in my two tone black and gray. Yeah. And the wheels keep turning. I don't even know no more. Mmm, so good. How's it going, everybody? I'm Smoke Over 13, and welcome back to another NASCAR diecast video and today this thing is going to be amazing because I just gotten a huge massive racing collection thank you grandma yes my grandparents decided to hand me all of their racing collection to me because it was they said it was basically just collecting dust and they're like hey let's just give it to Nick so I was like all right then so I ended up getting every bit of my grandparents racing collection and it's gonna be with me forever I don't know what they have in here the last time I looked into their collection was a very long time like more than 10 years at least so I don't know what to expect what's inside of these so let's start off with this container and see what we get into these people went to races for a very long time so I don't know what to expect and wow check this out that is cool so we're gonna go through every car everything that's inside of this i don't know what to expect so let's start off with this one dale hart seniors daytona 500 we have jerry nadu we have a woody woodpecker diecast and it's driven by wally dollenbeck we have a Derek coat diecast this thing's got a lot of stuff too a lot of die casts, all kinds of cool stuff. We have a Ken Schrader. We have a Jason Keller Slim Jim car. Really cool. Really cool. I like this. We have a Jeff Burton. Sal Boston. Sal Boston, Virginia boy. We have, uh, this one's bent, but that's cool. We got a Rusty Wallace car. Oh, this is cool. We have a little... Daytona 500 teddy bear. Like a, it's a little keychain for 2004 Daytona 500 with Dale Jr. won. Really cool. A Ricky Rudd. We have a Dick Trickle. We have a Jeff Gordon $1 million bonus car. This is really cool. This is a Ricky Rudd, uh, you know, stock, uh, stock rod series and a 34 um, Ford Coupe, pretty cool. Oh, this was really unique. Th so this one is really cool. This is a 1992 fan appreciation tour for Richard Petty's final season racing. And this is the Martinsville version. Uh, so, and it says collect all 29 available exclusively at these Winston Cup racetracks. So you can only get these at the racetracks and uh, that's the Martinsville version. This is a Matchbox 57 Chevrolet Bel Air. And what's really unique about it, it says collect all four uh, all four only at Taco Bell, my favorite fast food place. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You got the pick cup, fill it up, chug down cup. We got our own gas can water. Michael Marooks will be uh, proud. Got our own gas can water. This is the Dale Senior K2 car. Limited edition. So, uh, I actually don't have this car in my collection. So, pretty uh, pretty happy I finally own this one. Alright, this is unique. 1998 first edition uh, express lane car. And you see, I don't collect Hot Wheel cars. I always collect NASCAR's die casts. But, but um, anything that's in this collection is going to be... It's, it's basically mine now. And I'm not going to sell anything from this collection or anything. And uh, got 
had a Hot Wheels car. It's probably my favorite, one of my favorite Dale Jr. schemes. The Coca-Cola number one car from 1998. This is really nice. And this is a Rusty Wallace Goo Goo Dolls uh, number two. Uh, Goo Goo Dolls is a band. Uh, really nice. And a uh, fun fact, my granddad used to work at Miller Company. Used to work at the Miller Brewer Company in Eden, North Carolina. And he did it for uh, over 30 years. So uh, pretty darn cool. Majority of his collection when he used to work at, Brewer, at Miller Brewery and um, going to these races and stuff. So got that. Here we go. We got a 2001 Ken Schrader M&M's car. And you see, this is probably my favorite M&M scheme. Um, you know, Kyle Busch has some really nice M&M schemes and stuff, but this one is personally my favorite one. And I would love to see Kyle Busch do a throwback of Ken Schrader's number 36 scheme. I would love to see that. Now, this is a Bobby Labonte 1998 car. Uh, driving the Interstates battery uh, race car, number 18. These 143 scales, and this is a Jeff Burton car. We also have this one. We have this one. We also got a Bobby Labonte. So we got the 143 scale cars. We have, ooh, this is cool. We have a Terry Labonte, number five, Fruit Loops, uh, spooky Fruit Loops, and it's got Frankenstein on them. A Richard Petty, have a Richard Petty for the Racing Superstar Series, other racing champion. We have a Terry Labonte. We got a Racing Champion Motor Trend, the Judge, the 1969 Pontiac GTO car, uh, really cool. And it's one of 19,997 of these. 956. We have another Hot Wheels. The CD Custom Series. Oh, uh, this is cool. We got an Oldsmobile Racing Champion Motor Trend. Nice. This is really cool. We have a 1999 Ford F350 truck. Oh, check this out. We have a Lightning Johnson. This is a 1929 Ford Model A. We have, all right, this is really cool, even though this is like open. But this is a 1997 Indianapolis 500 uh, for the 81st Indianapolis uh, 500. And we all know the, Indian, uh, the Indy 500 is one of the biggest prestigious races in the world. And as you can tell, it's got the cars right there. The 1997 race veterans. And this is the backside of it. That's really freaking cool. Got the 1997 front row, the 1997 rookie challenges, 1997 top finishers, 1997 race veterans, and 1997 international racers. And when you get all of them, that's what it's supposed to look like. If you can focus on it. But that's what it looks like. That's 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 cool. And you see, I don't have a whole lot of indie um, indie stuff. And we got a Denny Hamlin car right here. This one's a this one's a 2007 Denny Hamlin. We have a Strickland diecast. We have a another Terry Labonte scheme. Uh, this is one of my favorite Kellogg schemes as well. I like that one too. All right, this is the famous car. We have the 1997 Jurassic Park Jeff Gordon car. The car that ran the All-Star race ends up winning it. And NASCAR told him, don't bring this car again because this car was that good. We have a lot more stuff. We have the number one Coca-Cola car. Mike Skinner, number 31 Lowe's car. We have the 1997 Plymouth Prowler. Uh, this is uh, the Racing Champions Motor Trend, and it's 19,997 of these, 3,377 of these. This is a 1956 Thunderbird. So uh, this is the Racing Champion Mint Series. This is a Sterling Marlin. Here is a Robbie Gordon. Here we go. We got a 
60s Studebaker. This is something different. Holy moly, I never thought about this. You see, I like space and all this kind of stuff. This is a Hot Wheels action pack. John Glenn. Hot Wheels. That is really cool. You see, John Glenn is one of the first seven astronauts. So, and you know, you also have the Mercury space shuttle and the space shuttle Discovery in it. And it also, the little figures in it is John Glenn. That's, uh, wow. Wow. That is beautiful. Uh, here we go. We got a Jeff Gordon figure. Uh, here we go. We got a Rusty Wallace little stuff, a uh, little figure. Ken Schrader, number 25. And this is the Budweiser as well. This is the Budweiser. Ken Schrader. Here's another hot rod. We have a 1932 Ford Coupe. We're almost finished with this container. It's it's so much stuff. <laughs> we have a Carl Edwards, number 60, from Team Caliber. We got a Buckshot Jones diecast when he drove the double zero. All right, here it is. These are a bunch of like program cars. Yeah, this is a bunch of program cars we got. So this is the number 40 Charlotte for the Coca-Cola 600 in 1999. This is just basically a car from like, uh, like a cereal box. Uh, we got this other program car. This is a 2003 Coca-Cola 600 program car. Here it is. This is a really cool. I actually remember this. This is the number 43. This is the John Andretti number 43 uh, from like a cereal box or something from uh, Pillsbury. Uh, this is like an advertisement exclusive. So I actually remember having one. Here's another one like a custom Richard Petty Wheaties car. A program car. This is a program car from 1996 for Charlotte. Now, this is nice because this is a first production 1999 Jeff Burton car. Really cool. One of 1,000. I don't know what number this one is, but pretty cool. This is a 2001 Coca-Cola 600 program car. The first year, the year... We lost Dale Sr., and this is the Coca-Cola 600 program car. This is the Blues Brothers 2000 of Kyle Petty. This one is the 2004 program car for Charlotte for the Coca-Cola 600. 1998, 1998 Coca-Cola 600 program car. And this is the Coca-Cola 600 2002 program car. Nice. And you see, they went to the Coca-Cola 600 like every year. And I think the last time they went to the Coca-Cola 600 was 2018, I think. It's a 1996 special coin. So we got these little cars. These cars are from the Days of Thunder movie. Cold Trickle, or you can say uh, Tom Cruise in it. So uh, one of my favorite racing movies ever. Uh, we're not done. We are not done. We have another 143 scale car we have three 43s of the hamburger helper lug nut we got a little lug nut for charlotte and before it was called charlotte it was called uh lowe's motor speedway so gonna put him right there jeff gordon shot glass we have a number two rusty uh rusty wallace lighter don't work anymore we have another diecast this is a jimmy spencer number 23 car the oh man i can't believe i'm about to show you this car this is the 2011 coca-cola 600 program car we all know what happened in that race why are we still here so uh 2011 coca-cola 600 program car this is basically a promo car and this is a drive for uh uh, Cope, and I apologize if I mispronounce somebody's name or mispronounce it. Uh, this is the 2012 Coca-Cola 600. I was actually at this race uh, when Case Kane won, so pretty cool. This is a 
2001 the pit stop shop action promo car this is the 2011 program car richmond ah uh, here we go this is the 2005 coca cola 600 this is the 2006 promo car for the coca cola 600 this is the richmond 2007 promo this is the 2010 richmond uh, International Raceway 2010. This is a 2006 Richmond promo. This is the 2009 promo. And this right here is the also and also the other 2009 promo car. This is the 2007 Coca Cola 600. And this one is actually a promo car for for Hungry Driver for Hungry Drivers number six. Pretty cool. We have Richmond International Raceway, the 2008. We have the Coca Cola 600 2013 car. We have the 2013 Martinsville promo car. We have the 2008 Richmond. And this is the 2007 Richmond. The Charlotte 2009. 50th anniversary for Charlotte. Uh, here's another one. Here's another Coca Cola 600 2005. This is unique. This is a. We got a Ricky Stenhouse Jr. diecast. And this is the 2010 Coca Cola 600. This one's the 2014 Coca Cola 600. I was at this race when Jimmy Johnson won. Oh, here we go. We got another Ricky Stenhouse. We got another Hungry Drivers number six car. We have a, wow, surprisingly, I remember this car. I really remember this car. We have a Dale Hart Jr. number 88 car. We have a 2013 Ricky Stenhouse Jr. diecast. We have a Johnny Benson number 30 car. We have another Hungry Driver. We have a Denny Hamlin diecast. We have a 2008 Martinsville. And the last three diecasts we have in this container, we have a Ricky Craven, number 50. We have 2012 Martinsville. And then the final one is the Coca Cola 600. For 2008 promo car we just got done with box number one now it's time for box number two and number three so let's get on to number two I have to mention this that when Dale senior passed away they did a uh, in a memory to Dale Earnhardt and that's pretty darn cool Let's see that's uh that's quite interesting And this is from 2001. All right, let's get on to container number two. All right, here we go. We got a Mike Silfko, number 66. A Johnny Benson, number 30 Pennzoil car. We got a Ted Musgrave. We got a Jeff Burton, number nine car. We got a 2013 Homestead. Uh, program car I don't think they went to the homestead race that year they just they were in Florida at the time and then they stopped at their track and went to the gift shop so here's the 2013 here is a Doc Hudson and I remember these these were the cereal box from the original movie uh, you get these in the cereal box Dale Jarrett 1998 Dale Jarrett Diecast from Winter Circle. Right here we have the 2016 Coca Cola 600 program car and the 2017 Coca Cola 600 program car. And I was at this race actually. I was actually at the 2017 Coca Cola 600 when Austin Dillon won. We got, ooh, this is really cool. This is the Dillon Hart Senior Legacy car. Yeah, the Dillon Hart. Legacy card, the DEI symbol, and all that kind of cool stuff with it. 
really cool. And I remember playing NASCAR 2004, and you could actually run the scheme. We have Dale Sr.'s Bass Pro Shop from 98. This is Jeff Gordon's 1997. We have a Johnny Benson 2001. We got a Mark Martin from 1997. We got a Johnny Benson number 26 Cheerios. We got, oh, this is cool. We got a Bill Elliott McDonald's car. I really love the McDonald's schemes. I, I absolutely love the McDonald's ass car schemes. Really cool. We got a Robert Presley Scooby Doo scheme. We got a 1998 Dale Hurd Sr. I'm saving that for last. We got a 1997 Ward Burton, number 22. We have a 1999 Jeff Gordon for, you know, when he drove the Pepsi car. We have the Rick Mast Remington. We have a David Green. We have a Kings for Robert Presley. We have a Kyle Petty, number 44, for the you know, when he drove Hot Wheels scheme. The 1996 Terry Labonte. And right here we have the Midnight Bill Elliott scheme. The 25th years, we have the 25 years in racing, Miller Lite, Rusty Wallace. We have the 1992 Alan Kowicki 1, 43 scale. We have the Ravel 1996 Jeff Gordon. As you can tell, the paint is kind of like coming off a bit. So we got a Boris said, like a magnet. Drove the number 36. This is cool. We got a Rusty Wallace keychain. As you can tell, Rusty Wallace keychain. All right, now we're getting to the really good stuff right here. And I want to save this best for last. So right here, we have a 2006 Rockwell Automation of Denny Hamlin when he drove the 20. This is cool. We have <laughs> the 2001 UPS package car. I like in NASCAR 06 where you can actually drive this car. And it's so much fun just running over cars and stuff. Now, this is the one I want to save for the best. And I remember seeing this in my grandparents' collection. This is the 2003 Darlington finish of Ricky Craven and Kurt Busch. Freaking amazing. That is amazing. I wish that were race version. There, there's no scratches or any of that kind of stuff on the car, but this is really freaking cool. All right, so I missed a few over here that I should have grabbed before I showed you those. So we got a Derek Cope, and I was actually at this race, and, and I love the looks of this program car, actually. This is the 2015 Coca-Cola 600 program car. I really love the scheme. And it's kind of like metallic too. And Carl and Carl Elwers won that race too. Uh, the Rusty Wallace edition. I'm not going to take this out because it's all kinds of stuff inside. I don't want to lose. All right. So my granddad, my granddad got one of the model car, uh, scale car things. And he actually built this. He actually built this car. Pretty cool. It's a Bobby Allison lower light car. Really nice. Really nice. And he actually built that. Uh, we have a racing champion, 1989, 10 years in 1999, you see right here, and the platinum edition or something, as you can see it right there, so you use the light right there, and I remember this one too, very finally, this is the Bill Elliott McDonald's racing team. Uh, set it's a two car set right there as you can tell really nice and now we're getting into the 124s now we have the final 164s and this this is like cereal uh like hot wheel cars you get for cereal 
All right, here we are. We're in the 124s right now. So we got a Rusty Wallace right here. Oh, and this is unique. This is actually really cool. This is another Rusty Wallace, but if you look on the back, it's like a wall there. It's a wall, and it's got a catch fence on there, and it's got fans back there. That's really freaking cool. I've never seen anything like that. This is a double display case full of Rusty Wallace. And my granddad used to work for Miller uh, Brewer Company, and he has a lot of uh, Rusty Wallace Miller Miller Light uh, stuff. And this is a Phil Parson. Wow, this is an elite. This is an actual elite. This is a Phil Parson number 10, 1997 elite. I've never seen this. Elite, and this thing is boxed up too, and I'm not going to open this, but I'll show you a picture of what the car looks like somewhere else, but that is freaking beautiful. Alright, that's it for box number two. Now let's get on to box number three. The 2017 Coca-Cola 600 program. I was at this race. Pole position, Kyle Larson. This is the 2016 Coca-Cola 600 program. Oh, this is really cool. This is a GR, uh, GR wall drop. This is a GR wall drop autograph. And uh, he also races for a friend of mine known as Lee Pulliam. He's a champion, national champion, all this kind of cool stuff. But uh, really cool. And they call him Gurr. That's his nickname, actually. He's Gurr. So uh, really cool. Really cool. I actually, I actually don't have a wall drop autograph, so uh, really cool. And I can go down to Lee Pulliam shop and just talk to him. So this is the 2015 program for the Coca-Cola 600. We have a Miami, uh, we got a Homestead Miami Speedway sticker. It's a sticker of Jeff Barton. A couple stickers right here. We have a Jeff Gordon. We got a Denny Hamlin. Oh, wow. I never expected this. I never expected this. We got the 2014 Coca-Cola 600 program. And what was inside it are uh, ticket stubs. Like from the Dirt Track, the All-Star Race, and the Coca-Cola 600, which I have my own ticket. And also with the programs, and I didn't know that they did this. But also with the programs, they also put the tickets in there with the uh, programs of theirs. And I've been looking for the ticket stubs, and I finally and I found ticket stubs. So pretty cool. And they're in each of the programs, so that's actually really helpful. And found uh, another ticket stub for the 2014 Richmond race for Toyota Care 250. I was at that race with Harvick one. This is the 2005 Coca Cola 600 program. This is uh. A Jeff Hammond autograph. I actually met Jeff Hammond. I met him twice. I uh, got met him twice at Charlotte, and this is the and I remember when my granddad got this. This is the first time I ever met him, and he ended up meeting him, and he got one for himself. We got the 2013 Outlaw Showdown uh, posters. We got a Fast Track 2013 uh, booklet, like a like a newspaper booklet. Uh, it shows you who won the championship around the, uh, yeah, it shows you who won the championship around, you know, the world or won races and stuff, so. And what was really cool when Lee Pulliam, one of my friends, he also invited my grandparents to do, go to the NASCAR Hall of Fame for, like, the ceremony for the NASCAR Awards, and he got invited to the ballroom. And you see Lee, the 2013 champion right now, uh, and you also get these too, so that is really cool. They got a chance to go, and I'm hoping if somebody wins the champion, I'm friends with, uh, it would be a, it would be a, it would be an honor to be a part of like go to the Hall of Fame because I always wanted to go to the Hall of Fame. I don't know, some kind of card, uh, Starwood preferred guess. So this is the NASCAR home track, uh, in your neighborhood. And it's basically telling you like where, uh, like the, where other tracks are at. And all right, here we go. So this one right here, 
This one has to be the 2013. Yep, this is the 2013 program, and it's got all kinds of stuff in here. It's basically like tickets and stuff. Yeah, it's basically like it's basically tickets, coupons, and uh, got stickers and all kinds of all kinds of stuff in here. Got the ticket studs from the Coca-Cola 600. Here's a Trevor Bain sticker. Yeah, this is the 2013 program for Martinsville. Here's a poster right here. And oh man, this is for Biketoberfest. This is a Biketoberfest for Daytona, uh, Daytona Beach, Florida. Aero racing wheels sticker, Martinsville tag. Uh, we have a motor mile, motor mile ticket. Got two motor mile tickets. I went to motor mile before, really nice track. Oh my Lord. I remember this. Oh, dude. I remember this. Motor Mile. And I remember getting this because it had Beast Boy from Teen Titans for the selling of mopeds. And you know, Beast Boy always wanted a moped in Teen Titans. We have a South Boston Speedway. We have a. Yep. Looks like a Martinsville. I'm not. Yeah. Looks like a Martinsville ticket. Just like a, just the stub of it. We have a Lowe's membership. We have another Martins, uh, Martinsville. Uh, more, it looks like fair wristbands. You see, my grandparents keep a lot of stuff over the years. Like, they, they keep so much stuff. Another South Boston Speedway ticket. Um, two Motor Mile tickets. Uh, this is a trading card but this is the Martinsville competitor I gotta ask my granddad about that one it is another South Boston Speedway ticket another motor mile ticket and these these are old these are these got some age on them and here are some more South Boston Speedway tickets a 2012 bike pocket guide all right I was at, I was this I was at this one this is the 2012 Coca-Cola 600 uh, uh, program right here and we got a Junior Johnson pitcher and we got a Martinsville what's like it's a Martinsville goodies uh, fast relief 500 for 2012 isn't that cool that's the back of it with all kinds of cool stuff on it this is the arcade motor Charlotte thing for the goodies fast relief 500 and everybody knows what happened in that race yeah that race didn't go so well <laughs> oh this is cool we got they got a, a 2012 official guide for uh martinsville we got a jamie mcmurray hero card so this is a picture this is a sand bass art which he used to do the nascar art and sadly he passed away and then back then, you could take a picture of a race car, uh, you know, get inside a race car and take a picture of it. And my grandma is a huge Jeff Gordon fan. And, you know, my granddad is a Rusty Wallace fan. Now he's a Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch fan now. Charlotte. Back then, it was known as the Lowe's Motor Speedway, but that's cool. I like that. That's really cool. Or ticket stubs right here. That one right here. Ticket stub right here. More ticket stubs. Wow, this thing, it's got a lot of ticket stubs in here. We got a Jeff Burton sticker. See, we got ticket stubs right here and everything. 2000, like, 2005, got a dirt race. Uh, got the all-star race, Coke 600s. 2004 Coke 600. And they also went to Daytona for the tour. The reason I didn't show y'all it has their names on it and addresses. And I don't want to do that. Uh, this is a, oh, 2006 flathead schedule. Really cool. Dale Jr. Chase Challenge. Uh, Sign-ups begin August 2007, 5,000 overall grand prize. All kinds of prizes. And, uh, and surprisingly, I found one of my dad's tickets in this thing. And uh, this is for the Lowe's Motor Speedway. Got a bunch of sand bass art. We got another ticket stub for... 2007 we got a poster right here we got oh this is cool we got a dale poster nice 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 dale poster 
a frequency scanner page for the Nationwide series back then. Uh, another ticket stub. This looks like another ticket stub right here. Yep, 2004, Martinsville. More ticket stubs. 2007, uh, like a news, like a pit note clipping. Here's another uh, picture right here with my granddad in this one. Pretty cool. And this is South Boston, 2007. Uh, you get these at the racetrack. They, I think, man, you used to get these in the mail too. But you can actually go to the racetrack and pick these up for yourself. Oh man, there's all kinds of stuff in here. All kinds of ticket stubs. Here's a, a like a Jeff Gordon Foundation for charity going to Corvette. Uh, another ticket stub from Martinsville. Uh, 2007 Coca Cola 600. All right, we got ticket stubs from the Winston. Uh, more. Uh, ticket stubs, but this is for Darlington. This is a Richard Petty picture. Richard Petty picture. Here's more pictures. Oh, this is cool. We got more pictures. We got Sterling Marlin, uh, Rusty Wallace, Kevin Harvick. Another Kevin Harvick, if you can see it. We got Dale Hart Jr. More Dale Jr. My uncle. <laughs> uh, got my uncle right here. Uh, we got Jeff Gordon right there, and we got Jeff Gordon and Hendrick right there, if you can see it. I remember these, too. I remember seeing the advertisements for these, and I really wanted to get one for myself. It's these, uh, pedal cars you can get, and these pedal cars back then, I really wanted that Dale Sr. one. And we have a No Bull, the $1 million. Here's a, another booklet for the home tracks. This is a 2007 program for Richmond. Yep, 2007 program for Richmond. Got some coupons. I tell you, they keep everything. Like, seriously, like this is a Budweiser bag. A Budweiser bag. You can tell this is a Hendrick store bag. So anything from Hendrick is in here or something different. But. I, I actually have one of these by, beside my bed. This is a Budweiser Racing uh, necklace. A Jimmy Johnson sticker, number 48. The 2011 program for Richmond. 2011 Crown Royal program. This is the 2003 Lowe's Motor Speedway program. This is a 2009 uh, Richmond program. Oh, these are uh, like Speedway Illustrated books you can get. This is a 2009 Coca-Cola 600 program. I survived the Coca-Cola 600. And you see, being at the Coca-Cola 600 is very historical and it's a lot of fun. But the race is so long, you just gotta keep, you know, surviving in the entire race because that race is so long. But it's such a fun race to be there. It's one of my favorite races to, to attend. Well, this is a Coca-Cola 600 pin. That's cool. Coca-Cola 600 pin from 2003. And here's a sticker. I'm too sexy for my hair. That's how that's how come it is in there. <laughs> I like that. It looks like Elliot Sadler right here. Or Elliot Sadler. Oh, this is really cool. This is a JC Penny catalog with like NASCAR merch and everything. And not gonna lie, I do like that Dale Senior shirt. That's cool. I like that. Kyle Bush Hero Card. We got a a poster, a Denny Hamlin Hero Card, Kyle Bush Hero Card, and some haulers trailers catalog. <laughs> Dale Jr. necklace. See look, more ticket stubs than these. More ticket stubs. <laughs> we got more ticket stubs everywhere. Another program. This is the Coca Cola 600 for. Oh man, this is the 2011 Coca Cola 600 program. Hard. That's very painful right here. More ticket stubs. More ticket stubs. Oh, this is cool. This is a 1992 appreciation tour for uh, Richard Petty, uh, Martinsville. Got more. Found more programs. We got the. We got the 2008 program for the Coca-Cola 600. 2008 program for Martinsville. I was actually, I think I was actually at this race, honestly. <laughs> this is the 2008 Richmond program, and this is the other 2008 uh, Richmond program. Got some trading cards. Got Jimmy Johnson. Another 
Richmond program. Damn. Got a 2006 Richmond program. We got a Joey Logano Hero card. 2007 Coca-Cola 600 program. This is the 2006 program for the Coca-Cola 600. We got a 2009 Richmond program. The 1999 Coke 600 program. And this is the 1998 Southern 500 program. 2010 Coke 600 program. 2004 Coke 600 program. We got a Richmond program from 2010. We got some more pictures right here. Autographs of Laura Hayes. More pictures. This is a 1992 Richard Petty Appreciation uh, Tour. But this is at uh, Richmond, uh, not Richmond, but this is at Martinsville. So, really nice. Return of the Intimidator. This is from 1999. Ha! I love NASCAR. Sue me. Get <laughs> a 10% coupon for being a NASCAR fan. This is the 2002 program for Lowe's Motor Speedway. Might be another, it's like a booklet, like a Martinsville booklet. Oh, this is cool. This is a 1998 Coke 600 program. Oh, this is the Bailey 300 at Martinsville from 2006. That's uh, pretty cool. And you got Timothy Peters on the cover. Pole position booklets. Really cool. Dale Jr. Hero card. We got a Bobby Labonte. We got a Mike McLaughlin. We got a Brett Bodine. We got a Tony Stewart. Kurt Busch. We got a Joe Gibbs Hero card. Oh, wow. I never expect this one. This is a Kevin Grubb Hero card. Kevin Grubb Hero card. Never expected this one. That is really cool. That's cool. We got a Denny Ham one. We got a Tony Stewart. This is a, looks like it's just a, oh, this is a Kale Gale. I actually had this autograph. We got a Jeff Gordon. Got a Jeff Gordon. Oh, we got another Jeff Gordon. Right there. Got another Jeff Gordon. Ah, here we go. We got a Dale Hart Jr. Hero card. We got. This is basically just a recycle. Basically, a recycle. We got a Mike Skinner. We got a Jerry Nadu Hero card. Oh, this is cool. This is a, like a. I don't know what that was. I don't know what's that. Oh, <laughs> got a Lee Pulliam autograph. I got a bunch of these. <laughs> we got a Coca Cola 600, kind of like a thank you note for attending. Uh, Justin Martin. This is a Justin Martin. We got a Nextel Cup plate. Got a Casey Mears. We got another Jeff Gordon right here. Another Casey Mears. We got Jimmy Johnson. Another Jimmy Johnson. And another Jimmy Johnson. Casey Mears. Jeff Gordon. Got a Kyle Busch. Got a Jeff Gordon. These are uh, Bob Slayer's autographs. I got I got these. This is a uh, Greg Biffle autograph. And here's another Bob, uh, Bob Slayer. This is a uh, Elite Pulliam newspaper, Kyle Bush and Denny Hamlin. We got a Martinsville uh, paper right here. This is the 2001 Coca-Cola 600 program. And what's really unique about it, you can see uh, Dale Sr. on the moon. That's like in the sky, like, you know, he's an angel and all that. That is really nice. All right, so we got Two more things we got to get through before the end of the video. So I know this video is very long, but bear with me. I know this video is so long, but I'm just happy you guys are here for the support and just watching because you love racing so much. I love my content, but thank you. And let's get on to the other last two things uh, for the video. <laughs> got this one right here, so let's get into it. So we have sticker. We got uh, some Jimmy Johnson Tylenol. Oh, this is cool. This is a 2005 calendar. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting. It's got Kurt Busch on the front. So let me see what's October. October 8th. I got Jeremy Mayfield. This is a Kenny Wallace autograph. We got another sticker. We got a Jeff Burton standees. Kyle Busch. Jimmy Johnson. We got a Jeff Gordon. And, okay. Got another Jeff Gordon with an autograph on it. And this is incredible, man. This is, wow. This is the Outlaw Showdown in 2006. It's got a 
bunch of autographs on it. Holy moly. I'm terrible reading signatures, like autograph signatures at times, and I can't I can't even read any of them. I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> Dylan Hart Jr. Pitcher. Some more hero cards. We got a Carl Edwards. We got a Ryan Vickers. Uh, we got a Terry Labonte. I actually have this hero card. And we got a Greg Biffle. We got Matt Kenseth's hero cards. We got a Stacy Compton. We got a John Wood, a Bobby East. And and here's the thing, speaking about Bobby East, I'm really proud. I'm so proud of Bobby East that he's got sponsored by State Fair Corn Dogs, my favorite corn dogs. Uh some kind of out world of outlaw uh two thousand six schedule. Alright, I actually have one of these. These are Mark Triggs Jr. autographs. I actually have this one. Dolsky autograph. I actually have a bunch of these too. Uh Jeremy Campbell. And some of these I actually don't have. This is uh, Joey Salanda. I'm sorry if I mispronounce these names. Um, Justin Henderson. Here's another autograph, but I can't recognize who that is. Uh, Jason Martin. This is uh, Becca Anderson. Uh, Brooke Tatnell. Uh, Tatnell. He's, uh, he's actually from Australia. Kamina. We got a uh, Chad Kamina. I think that's how you pronounce his name. We got... Uh, Donnie Sachs, Darian Pittman, and I, and I really apologize if I mispronounce these names. Uh, oh, this is a really cool hero card. Jeff Gordon hero card. We got a Mark Martin, Greg Biffle hero card. Holy moly. And we got more ticket stubs. More ticket stubs, brochures. Uh, Jeff Gordon, Tylenol. Oh boy, this ain't, I hope this thing don't fall. We got a Rusty Wallace. Hero card. Got like a kind of like a brochure kind of thing for Hendrick. Jimmy Johnson's Hall and All. Jamie McMurray. Hero card. This is a Buck Baker 25th anniversary today. And it's also got a Buck Baker racing school schedule. We got a Dale Jarrett. We got a Elliot Sattler. We got, ooh, this is cool. We got a Ray Abraham hero card. Pretty cool. We got a Andy Belmont. All right, this is supposed to be some like a like a box, like a cereal box or something. We got a Ryan Newman hero card. Oh no, no. We got a Ken Schrader hero card. Oh, this is cool. We got a Johnny Benson. Oh, this is a classic. This is a Jimmy Johnson hero card from like 2003. From 2003 hero card of Jimmy Johnson before he won a championship. Yo, Jarrett. Oh, this thing's huge. This is basically a picture. We got a Dale Jarrett picture. We got a Jeff Burton. We got, oh, this is, this is classic. <laughs> we got a Dave Blaney. Yeah, we got a, yep, we got a Greg Biffle hero card. Kevin Harvick hero card. We got a Mark Martin hero card. Got a Matt Kenseth. We got a Roush Racing hero card with all the drivers racing. We got a Elliot Sadler. And we got this big we got this giant jerry nadu hero card those motor speedway uh this looks like a driving ticket kind of thing like a little dale jarrett got uh, another hero card another hero card we got a ooh, got a michael waltrip we got a, another greg biffle we got up oh, drop something <laughs> we got a rusty wallace we got a Another Greg Biffle. We got another Greg Biffle. This is a 2005 schedule. And we got another Greg Biffle hero card. Tylenol for Jeff Gordon and Matt Kenseth. All-Star Challenge 2004. We got a poster right here from 2005. 2005 poster. I'm trying to get everything on camera. I'm doing everything I can to get everything on camera. So this is a Ken Schrader number 21 uh, plate. So this is, all right, so my grandma is a big Jeff Gordon fan. My grandpa is a big Rusty Wallace fan because of Miller Lite and everything. But this is a property of 1998 NASCAR Winston Cup Jeff Gordon champion sign. That is cool. And then you got the Rusty Wallace at the bottom. So pretty cool. All right, so we're finished with this box. Now it's time to get to the very last one. All right, the only thing we got to get through 
or these and that'll be it for this so let's get to it so we got some newspaper clipping uh some newspapers and this is one of the coolest things i've ever seen but this is uh a uh, kevin harvick is running full-time winston cup and grand national series schedule in 2001 Kevin Harvick took over the number three, which it would turn into the 29 car because Dale Sr. passed away. And, uh, and, you know, when Dale Sr. was tragically killed, they had to come up with some idea, and then they decided to put Kevin Harvick in the car. So, and um, look how Kevin Harvick is in his career now. And, and, man, champion and won some races and stuff. Crazy. And now, you see, my grandma, my grandparents kept everything that's racing-related Ever since they basically started going to race, I don't know, basically going to races and stuff, and they kept everything. And I mean by everything, I mean everything they kept. Everything they see, they take it, they buy it, or whatever. They'll keep it until it's time to give it away. Now, since they give it to me, I think it's a great time to show everything that was given. And just to be honest, this is one of the nicest things that i ever seen. And this is a farewell to the man in black for Dale Sr., April 29, 1951, February 18, 2001, and very, very, uh, very dark, very dark year in 2001, and, uh, there's, a uh, Sam Bass, we got, oh, this is unique, this is, like, uh, this is basically kind of, like, the museum or some kind of thing, yeah, it's basically, uh, kind of like a brochure kind of thing, and it also shows you directions, to get to like the race shop and everything. Bill Will, uh, Bill Wilburn autograph, Carol Carr. Oh, here we go. This is a 2001 Ricky Rudd right here. And I think everything that's in this bag, and I believe everything that's in this bag is from 2000, 2001. And I think this is the reason why she kept it separate. So let's get to it. So this is a Jeff Gordon right here and yes this is a 2001 jeff gordon hero card so we got a jeff gordon right here we got a stowe and marlin this is really nice we got a jason leffler hero card rest in peace man uh some more jeff gordon uh we got a uh jerry nadu hero card right here more jeff gordon another ricky rudd oh this is really cool this is like a catalog for Rusty Wallace in 2001, and I tell you, they got some really nice merch in like 2001. I mean, I, I really, I am such a huge fan of like classic retro merch for uh, NASCAR, vintage merch. So cool, another Bill Wilburn. All right, so this is where we come to newspapers, right here, and this is from Charlotte right here. And what's unique about this one, bridge. This is the bridge in uh, Charlotte when it collapsed actually it collapsed in charlotte this is a paper when dale jr won at the all-star race yeah here it is here's a, another picture of what the bridge looked like collapsing now this is when i show you the other bridge papers this is the actual official one right here race fans injured as walkway uh, walkway falls and this is really unique because the uh the bridge the bridge you can walk over to get to like from the other side to the racetrack and all that kind of stuff and uh and it collapsed unfortunately and um it says 75 people were on it people fans were hurt fans were injured and uh it's pretty unique and uh and this is uh, this came this happened in 2000 the year of 2000 it's like some kind of paper racing connection hey we got a crocker barrel brochure yes it's crocker barrel that's how we pronounce it over here. And uh, here's a picture of Rusty Wallace. Uh, driver's roster for uh, the dirt track at Lowe's Motor Speedway. This is a Dale Earnhardt Jr. when he won the All-Star Race in 2000. It is a picture of the bag. It's got uh, Bruton Smith and his grandson Graham. Got a Richard Petty Museum brochure. Got a Rusty Wallace from 2000. We got a Ricky Rudd. Got a Speed Street brochure, another brochure for 2000. Uh, we got a, another Rusty Wallace, like a, where he has his merchandise and 
And uh, back then, you can join like fan clubs and all that kind of stuff and get exclusives. And uh, that is one thing I really want back is like fan clubs. And also with fan clubs, you know, the drivers get there and you get to meet them. And also you get discounts and cool stuff. When I mean they kept everything, they even kept a Bass Pro Shop <laughs> paper. We got a another paper for uh, racing fans as well. Fans and wearing Jeff Gordon merch. We got a Race Week May 2000 paper. We got like a booklet for World of Outlaw 2000. We got a Earnhardt Sewers. This is from 2000 when he got the pole for the Coke 600 that year. Here's another one. Here's the uh, core cable, uh, the cables from the bridge that collapsed at Charlotte and uh, draw investigation and tension. And uh, you see, here's a better picture. As you can tell, that's a better picture of it. I don't think there's any fatal uh, I don't think anybody died from from the uh, from this. Uh, I just know people got hurt, but it, and on the paper it never said anybody got killed. So picture of a bunch of race cars on the track. Got some brochures and stuff. Another brochure. We got a 2000 Jeff Gordon hero car. And also folds up and it's got all kinds of stuff in it, like a sand bass. We got more sand bass artwork right here. Oh, here we go. We got another Ryan Newman hero card back when he drove the uh, four tours. There's a, another booklet. And we got a Jeff Gordon paper. And the last thing we got right here is the Mike McLaughlin. <sighs> we went through every bit of the collection from programs, die cast, ticket stubs, hero, you know, the hero cards, newspapers, everything in this collection. And I just, I'm just surprised on what my grandparents kept over the years. Over the years. They've been going to races for so long. Anything they touch, anything they find, they'll collect it and keep it over and over for, you know, for a very long time. And I'm, ju I'm just, I, I just can't believe they ended up giving it to me. And I really appreciate them. I love them. <laughs> love you. Love you so much. Thank you. And I'm just, I'm just speechless right now. But if you enjoy this long unboxing, the haul collection video, whatever you want to call it, if you love it, hit the like button. Also subscribe for more if you want more videos just like this. More unboxing videos, all kinds of cool stuff. Thank you. I love every single one of y'all. And also you can follow me on Twitter, uh, SmokeOver13. But thank you so much. I love every single one of y'all. And just remember, stay gold.